Hi and welcome to my channel. My name's Christine and I'm an artist from Northern Ireland and this is take 55,000. Yep, so I really just need to get on with it so I'm just going to go with this one. Um, if I stumble or bloop, it, I'm just going to have to do that because um, it's just getting a little bit silly now so I'm just going to get on with it. I just want to apologise about the lighting. It is a really rainy day in Belfast today um, so the lighting isn't very good. I've got out the ring lights but it keeps getting onto my glasses and uh, it just doesn't look good so um, I still have them on but they're up high not shining on my face just to make the room uh, a little bit lighter. So I'm going to be working on the tiger today. I just want to say that I did do the eye and I only got a couple of minutes of footage of that. I stupidly forgot to check my phone and the battery then it died um, so I only got a minute or two of footage so this is the tiger as we stand that is the eye that I done now I will talk you through what I've done I'll stick in the couple of minutes of footage that I got um, I'm going to just be looking over the eye um, and then I want to do this section here but I'm hoping that once I've done this section here, it pulls this section that I don't like um, together. If it doesn't pull it together, I might have to rework this bit, but um, hopefully I won't. So here's hoping. I also want to talk about, um, before we start, the boards, that the, the wee boxes that I use for the smaller paintings instead of uh, the big boards that I use. I usually work to a much larger scale. Um, I'll just show you that. I usually work to this size. Now this is a land cub that I've done in the past. Um, now this is on velour. And then this is on pastel mat. This is a pastel mat of my daughter that I did um, Samantha with a filter. Now, as I say, this is on pastel mat and this is the size that I usually work to. And this is the size of the little whimsies. So this is a raven or a... I know I'm going to call them a raven. Um, and this is the size of the whimsies. So I needed something smaller to use instead of the big boards. So I had a rummage around the Aladdin's cave that is my art room. And I came across one of these old boxes that I had bought. Uh, I bought this one about 20 years ago um, from Bargain Books. And inside it was different um, paints and paintbrushes and things. I'll show you what's in this one. It's just a wee watercolour and acrylic paint tubes. I think these are the actual... Where is it? These are the actual ones that were in this um, and I haven't really a maybe a wee spot or whatever but I haven't really used them. And then um, this is another one my mother-in-law bought me as a present and it still has the paints in it. Um, now I they're all different. I think they're watercolour, oil and acrylic. And in the box you got paintbrushes. I still have the original pencils in here, not used. And a palette. And a potty rubber and a pencil sharpener. 
and I've obviously used those bits, but I've never used, never used a paint. But the box, oh, stuck my t-shirt. The box is really handy, and what I do then is I just pop on the pastel matte paper and put round the tape, and that's what I've done with the tiger. It's just easier to use and easier to store. I just set it up on its side, either on the floor or on one of the shelves and it's safe, can't get knocked over or anything, where the original larger bits that I have to do have to be popped onto the easel. They're just too big. So that's why I use these smaller things. Um, so without further ado, we're just gonna get stuck into this tiger and hopefully work this area and hope and pray that it makes this bit stand out and I don't have to rework it. Okay, so let's go. Hi, it's voiceover Christine. Uh, let's just talk about the one or two minute footage of the eye that I said that I had. I'm just going to pop it in here. And one or two minutes magically turned into 14 seconds of me moving the board about and filming the tip of a black pencil. All I can do is just apologise and say to myself, you need to check your camera before you start filming anything. So yeah, put a line under it and move on. As with all the previous videos, I'm just going to let it speak for itself. There is a section on down that I need to explain to you what I'm doing. But other than that, I'm just going to play the music and yeah, pop on when I need to explain anything.
got to this section, I actually realised that the eye was far too small. And what I'm doing now is just going over all of the black area with the Carbothello. The number for that one is 1400 slash 685. And I'm just using it to then blend the black and everything out. But yeah, when it when I was when I stood up to look at it, it just it didn't look right. You know, that had a big eye and his, his eye was the other one was far too small. So I'm now just using this Caran d'Ache black just to now recreate the outline of the eye that I had drew, drew over.
This is the section of the top of the head leading onto the ear that I wasn't happy with. So I used the Carbothello 1400 685 just to go in and darken it down a wee bit and just to give it a bit of bit of depth and I think it really helped um, in the final result you can see it it worked well
again. I just wanted to come in at the end of the video and show you what I worked on today and just to give you a couple of my thoughts. I This is her hair. Now, I worked on this section here and I do like what I did. I'm not saying that I will leave it like that because as you've seen in the video, I flick from... Uh, bit to bit you know I work over here and then I go back over here and then I go up here so who's to say that in the next video I will work more on this bit what I do need to do is work on the middle section I need to lighten it a little bit more and give it a bit of depth I also need to bring colours from this side to this side and colours from this side to this section here just to make it look as if it belongs to the, the same tiger. I also need to maybe add a little bit of darkness around here just to make the fur pop a little bit more, but that will be in the next video. I do hope you liked this video and that if you did, you would maybe subscribe and give the video a little like. Anything that I used today, I will link in the description below. And if you wanted maybe to purchase the, some pencils and some pastel map paper and maybe give a tiger a go yourself, that would be great. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.